This is the ST number 4 engine. It has a bore of 1.5 inches and a stroke of 1 and 1 quarter inches. It was machined from iron and bronze castings. I've hooked it up to my air compressor and we can watch it run in a little while. If you're planning to build your first engine, I suggest it be a small steam engine. Steam engines are much easier to make run for beginners than our internal combustion engines. This is quite a large steam engine. It's 10 inches tall. You might consider the size of your lathe and your milling machine when you choose a steam engine, but a small or medium steam engine is a good choice for the beginner. The steam engine is fun to watch and has a pleasant sound. Here we'll run it on compressed air. We'll give it a little pressure and it will start. It can run slowly, but it can also run much faster. Here we have a shot even closer where you can watch the mechanisms work. have a look from the other side. Let's get it running again. The ST4 is a dual acting engine in that there's force on the piston in both directions. The valve chest keeps switching which side of the piston has pressure on it to make it go up and down. The slide valve keeps switching which side of the piston gets pressure When the engine runs slowly, it sometimes sounds a little bit like a train. The valves you see at the front of the engine I use to remove condensation. Steam condenses to water when the engine cools. Water is not compressible. If you didn't remove the water, when you turned the engine, parts would break. The valves are used to remove condensed water from a steam engine. Let's watch the steam engine run from this angle. It can run a lot faster, 